Well, new at six tonight, two million people reported being victims of a medical identity theft, and that was just last year. And more than half of them paid $13,000 or more to get things straightened out. Our investigative reporter Jennifer Lukey has the real deal tonight on the steps you need to take right now to make sure you're not the one shelling out cash to fix your credit. No one denies that our health care information is constantly at risk. There's an arms race going on between cyber criminals and those of us in health care that are trying to protect the integrity of our health care information. In a growing number of cases, the cyber criminals are winning. A health care facility may be breached and a lot of electronic health records may be lost. They could face severe penalties uh, for violations of HIPAA, but at the end of the day, it's your health record. It's your identity. You're responsible for that, and you're going to have to figure out and deal with all the ramifications if your identity is stolen. Scammers use stolen patient and provider numbers to buy medical equipment, drugs, even file claims with insurers for made-up procedures. Health records are much more valuable than credit cards on the black market. Um, some estimates have them up to $50 per record. And while they're making money, you're losing out big time. A recent study on medical ID theft shows the average victim spends 200 hours and $13,000 trying to fix it. Many saying they didn't even know they were a victim until they started receiving bills for procedures, treatments, or visits they never had. And as health systems and records become more centralized, the threat grows. Do you worry about stuff like that? I do. And I know that that there's a purpose for centralizing everything, your information. Say if you were out of state, or out of the country, had an accident, it'd be important to have it all centralized, but it's also, it's an awful easy way for somebody to gain everything that they need to know about you. So check your credit report often. If you get a medical bill you're unsure of, alert the office and the insurer right away and put a fraud alert on your account. That's The Real Deal. I'm Jennifer Lukey. And you should know you are entitled to one free copy of your credit report once a year from each of the three credit reporting agencies. To get yours, go to annualcreditreport.org.